tremolo series. In this series, we're going to share with you tremolo pedals by some of our favorite manufacturers. Thanks for joining us. Today we're looking at the Tremolo 2 by Empress Effects, made from our friends in the Great White North. Yes. And the beard's going to begin to unpack this beauty. We've been getting a lot of great pedals from Canada. We have been, yes. Even though there's borders are closed. Yeah. And I haven't been able to go. And the stuff still gets smuggled right. across. You just can't go to the lake house. <laughs> yeah, it's the first time in 46 years I haven't gone to Canada. And... But they can send us pedals. In the words of Josh Scott, he's fine. He's fine. Yeah, he's fine. fine. He's fine. He's fine. He's fine. I don't think I'll make it. <laughs> All right. So, Empress Effects Tremolo 2. Uh, you take a look at it and you think that... That, that will be pre-editing, maybe. <laughs> right. You take a look at it and you go, ah, a couple knobs. There's a lot under the hood here. Mm -hmm. there's, there's a good bit under the hood. Um, it's fantastic. I'm really digging how easy it is to change some of the... To, to take advantage of those things mm -hmm. has anyway let's get into it features depth knob controls depth of the tremolo rate knob how fast it goes a rhythm knob which just is a kind of a new feature i think we've only ever seen one other tremolo pedal that has something similar maybe like the q that's what something. i was thinking yeah something similar the tap a whirl right this has eight different rhythms in it mm -hmm. anything from just straight but their rhythms are they're accenting. So if you think like eight notes or sixteenth notes, where they're placing the accents is how they're changing the rhythms. But you can do just straight, no accents. And number one is like straight tremolo. So we'll start the pedal with it on number one. Output, you get up to six decibels of boost. We found in the middle there is about unity. Yeah, for what we're doing, that's straight up. Um, there's a save button we'll talk about later. Three waveforms, triangle, tube, and square. Which is yeah, pretty standard. Mm -hmm. And then we have this other switch over here, and we'll get back to that. I think we'll come back yeah, to that. The mode so switch. Yep. Where we normally start, um, and we'll start with that just in the trap. The trap. Trap tempo? Yeah, the trap tempo. The tap tempo spot. Um, and we're going to start with it just on a triangle waveform. Not at that. This <laughs> right, speed. right. So what we normally do is start with the depth knob. So we're going to start with the depth after Pat gives the reference tone here in a second. And we'll do all the way down, all the way up on depth. And I think in that same pass, then I'll go all the way down on speed and all the way up on speed. Um, and then we'll come and talk about some more. Okay. So the uh, Revolta Mandata 8 through the Tyler PT, Tyler Amplificate, Tyler Amps. My gosh. Tyler I was, Amps. Tyler, Tyler Amps. Amp Works. Yeah, Amp Works. I knew, sorry. Sorry, man. Uh, PT-22. <laughs> Sounds like this. It's a little bit of reverb because we don't like it dry. So. All right, so we'll start with the depth in about the middle so you get some speed and then we'll go. Six hundred pound hummingbird. <laughs> so, what we mentioned earlier when we were kind of going through it, we like the top speed on the rate because it's still pretty usable top speed. Right. 
if you need faster than that, you can tap it in faster than right. that. That's why I hit that at the end, just to yeah. show that. So that's really nice. The next uh, thing we thought we'd look at is just the three different waveforms. So maybe backing the depth off a little bit and going back to a normal speed. And we did the last one on triangle we'll start there, and then we'll flip to the uh, tube waveform and then flip to the square waveform. Mm tube yeah the tube is well warm right and it's yeah. full everything that we like about valve amps for the rhythm switch which would you like it on Whew. well i think we're gonna click through all of them so uh well i mean I think for, we decided, would you run on tube or square i think we decided square because it's the most dramatic okay. and you'll be able to hear the so, rhythms which are in the manual in a series of zeros and x's i thought do i understand what this means no <laughs> so i'll goose the depth a okay. little bit yeah um Speaking of the manual, and when we when we run through the eight, I'll put on the screen what it looks like from the manual. But basically, what they have is little X's and little O's, and the O's and what you'll see down on the screen. I just you know, flip through it real quick. So the O's are your accent. So if you see like number one, the first one we're in that we'll start on is four O's. Mm -hmm. So they're all the same. But then the next one you see is an OXOX, so it's like accenting the one and the two and the ands are going to be. That makes sense now. Yeah. When you said it that way. You broke it down to where I can understand it. It's <laughs> almost like when you're doing the little chord chart and it, like the fingers and the X is the string you don't play. Well, that's yeah. that's the the beat that's not being played, right? The X is. Or it's not being accented. Right. Okay. So, understand. like I said, I'll try and pop those up so you can see which one it's yeah. on as we go through it. All right. All right. Sure. I'm trying to remember what I was doing. I think I know what I was doing. Somewhere in there, there was a distress call on SOS. So. <laughs> so, yeah. Hopefully when you put the graph up and you hear, we let it tail intentionally quite a bit. So you can catch the, the yeah. rhythm. All right. So, and I'm, I'm holding on to this. It's like my life preserver <laughs> yeah. right now. Right. Uh, although I think we got it. So, did all the knobs. Did the waveforms. That takes us back to this nifty little switch here. Mm -hmm. And on that switch, we have three options. We have tap, tempo. <laughs> it's a tremolo pedal. Tap, <laughs> tempo. We have um, knob, knob, and preset. So in the tap tempo, basically this is our tap tempo. Now you can use an external tap at the same time. Right. And we'll come back to that. Right. Um, when you go to knob, you just have the rate here. So this knob, 
And I guess we should have mentioned something. This knob, rate and ratio, let's go back to tap tempo one time. Um, if I click one, two, three, just give us a So this is going to be, if I turn that up, now we'd have. So this knob doubles as your rate and your subdivision. If you're in the tap tempo, it's your subdivisions. Mm -hmm. That's one thing we kind of missed and didn't talk about. All right. So then if we go to just knob, now it's just a rate knob. But what's interesting, if when Pat plays, we're at this rate. If I hold down the tap button, <laughs> you hear that mm -hmm. number eight in there? Um, so it, it's a it's a ramp. It's a break. Right. So we hold it. It slows down. Let it go. It goes back to wherever the rate knob set. So that's kind of a cool feature just for the for the knob setting. And then if we go over here to preset, now we get to where things start to get interesting because it comes stock with four presets. You can get into the what do they call them? The advanced the. Uh, advanced configurations and you can make it up to eight presets mm -hmm. and i think we have it set for eight presets right now we do and so there's two other things you can do you can have it set so if i hit this button we're in preset mode i hit the tap button now it's showing me my different presets and then i have to hit this button to engage it but we could set it up with the advanced configurations that i just hit that button and we go to the next preset right and it would automatically engage um so, preset green, blue, pink, purple, <laughs> fuchsia, yellow, chartreuse, <laughs> light blue, Carolina blue, darker yellow, darker purple, <laughs> orange, and then back to green. So we have it set up for eight right now. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I mean we could strum and do a couple, but I mean it's it's wherever you want them. And it doesn't lay out the first four that it puts in there. It doesn't break down what they are. Right. But, I mean, obviously, in addition to the color, I guess we could strum a chord and he could do a couple. Well, of and then you can, once you set it up, you mm -hmm. can save your own presets. Right. So you can make it whatever you right. want it to be. But, yeah, let's just bounce through, like, three of them real quick because okay. then we're going to change something. Um, All right. And we haven't played with this yet. Right. But what we can we can change the ramp speed. So what you just saw is it immediately went from one preset to the other. Right. So that's the default setting. If we unplug this, so we're learning we're learning all kinds of stuff here. We're learning how to get into the advanced configuration. We unplug it. <laughs> I think we're learning how to we are, yes. We hold down both buttons, plug it back in. Blinks twice, then like a don't let go. Do so. <laughs> if it doesn't blink twice, it's not going to do anything. Trust me, we right. figured that out after about six minutes. <laughs> so then we're going to turn the depth all the way clockwise, and now we've just set it up for ramp speed, the maximum ramp speed. It wouldn't have to be this. Hold both buttons down again. We leave that. So when we switch, we should see a long ramp between the presets now. <laughs> Thank you. 
planning, that could be something pretty cool. Right. Like if you set up two different presets, maybe one to be real kind of light and slow, mm -hmm. one to be kind of heavier and fat, whatever. But that is cool, the ramp. Because like you said, it before it was just immediately, if it was going slow, it would just jump to fast. Now this ramps up and yeah. we're down. And we had it at the maximum ramp. So you could make it go a little bit faster than that. Mm -hmm. More, But it's a blending. A blending between new presets. Yes. All right, now it gets even more confusing. Actually, it doesn't. That's why I said it's fantastic. So let's talk expression pedal. You can set up any of these knobs to be controlled by the expression pedal individually, or you can set up all of the knobs to be controlled by the expression pedal at the same time. And it's really easy to do. And you're doing that by the control port on the side, so I don't, you can't see it in the picture, but over here there's a control port. Um, that can act as several different things. Um, and we'll give you just the real quick rundown of that. The control port can be an external tap switch, and then you can have it for normally open, normally closed. You can have it for um, momentary, or latch. momentary or latching. You can put the expression pedal in, and then you can do something called control voltage, and I'm going to plead ignorance here. because Yeah, we both read it and went, I, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know what that is. Um the CV control, the Empress Tremolo to response to CV signals from 0 to 5 volts. Otherwise, the CV configuration works exactly like the expression pedal. Actually, you know what it might be? That might be how you control the MIDI because you can set it up for MIDI okay. as well. And we're not going to get in the MIDI. So, um, sorry. So, expression pedal. If... I turn the depth all the way to zero. That would set the heel at zero. Then I hold down save. Actually, I'm going to do... All right. Depth all the way to zero. I hold down save. And I roll the depth all the way up. All the way up. And take off save. I just set toe. So, if all goes well, Pat will play and nothing. <laughs> there'll be no depth. There'll be no volume unless I turn this knob. <laughs> I'm going to take that down to just straight tremolo. So that was depth, heel, no depth, mm -hmm. full. If we do the same thing right now, if I roll rate all the way down to zero, <laughs> hold everything. Hit the save button and roll weight all the way up to the top. We still have the depth in there. Now we've added speed. So now heel is no depth, no speed. And you could even, like, like no kidding, you could even take like oh, wait, the more. rhythm knob is at one. We mm -hmm. could make that and then roll that all the way up. So now when we get to the top, we're having full depth, full speed, and that rhythm <laughs> pattern. Get to the chopper. <laughs> And you probably wouldn't use it that way. Uh, unless you get the creative brain going, right? Right. Like, you know, one parameter is great. Two is awesome. Three, what? <laughs> right, because we can add the volume to it, too. <laughs> so loud. now it's, it's even softer and gets louder. Mm -hmm. you know? But you probably wouldn't use it with all those extremes. Right. We always just set it to the extremes so you can hear that quickly yeah. and clearly. I wonder if you could do the opposite. Have it slow down. Have one get deeper and one slow down? No, no probably not, because it's going from... No, probably not. All right, so... It opens up a lot of creativity, right? There's lots of times that our creativity is only so big, but it leaves a lot of room for creativity, expression, mm -hmm. 
between flip between the presets, between the ramping, between how you set the expression pedal. And now you're probably gonna move on to tap, I guess, right? Yeah. There is really something cool about tap, and you're gonna say it. So in addition, yes, you're right. And in addition to being able to plug the expression pedal in there, we can also set it up for a, a tap. Now. So here's the question. Why would you want an external tap when you have a button that says tap right there? Good question. Ah. Because if we're in this preset mode and we hit the tap button, that's what's changing our presets. So you have no tap, but you can set up an external tap. So if you're using something just like a momentary switch, mm -hmm. Or you would be using something like a disaster area clock or a MIDI clock or something like that. You can send clock signals to it. Same thing. So we need to set this up. Because right now it comes default set up for the expression pedal. We need to set it up to do the momentary switch. And that is actually number four. So they're using this rhythm knob with okay. the settings. Okay. That if we unplug it, hold both buttons down, plug it back in. Wait for the double, put this to tube, move this to four, hold both buttons, and we should be in the yeah. So just to prove it. Well, just to prove it, so here we're hitting that, and now we're switching. And I think maybe we haven't given enough credit to the rhythm knob with the different rhythms because if you like use tremolo for movement, right? Mm -hmm. So sometimes you set it real subtly or whatever. We've shown everything with like the depth cranked up so you can really <laughs> hear the rhythm. Mm -hmm. But I think if you were to set it real subtly and have one of those just where it's kind of accenting, right. even like number two, that's accenting um, every other one. Uh. Right. Like not necessarily using it as a rhythmic thing, <laughs> right, right. but using it just to like kind of, mm -hmm. yeah, it's pretty cool. All right, so that was tap. We did the wall. We did the wall. We did the wall yes, pedal. Were you paying attention? <laughs> we did the expression pedal. Um. Oh my gosh, you're so talked much. about the presets. Talked about ramping between presets. Being able to use the tap during presets. You can switch it between true bypass and buffered bypass. So we didn't show that, but it's the same. Go into that advanced configuration, turn a knob. And whatever um, number that is on the rhythm knob. Uh, for that, it is the mode toggle switch to the left, tap tempo. Okay. And if you want buffer five pass, you would move it to the right to preset. So you, it's, you would need the manual because it's a different switch, different thing right. for each parameter. Uh, we talked about that. We talked about preset modes. We talked about going the, the fact that you can switch it from four to eight. The ramp speed, the number of presets, uh, there is in here how you set it up to do the MIDI channel. So how you change this from the MIDI channel to the number of presets to the control port configuration. Um, and then there's some more in the owner's manual about actual MIDI configuration and stuff for people that do that. We haven't really gotten into that, so I think... That we probably missed something, but I think that's about it. Uh, props to Empress on the owner's manual yeah. because they packed a lot into this pedal, but it's really, really simple to follow. This is mm -hmm. nice. I love this too. Like preset. they say, yeah. preset quick start. So the first page in the book after the introduction is like, hey, if you just want a tremolo that sounds good, flip this to tube, flip this to knob. Flip that to rhythm one, which is no accents, get your output there, and then you just have this tremolo sound. <laughs> That 
That sounds nice. Right. And that's what I did, right? Because we, we try to... He does all the deep dive, but I did take a couple of these home. And I took this home when we were going to do the intro video of the ones we were going to play. And I started there, and I'm like, wow, this thing sounds great. And I'm not sure exactly where I landed. I may have landed on the second one and done a few tweaks, but I, I like the idea of there's probably six or eight in there that they recommend. Yeah, you got that. You got the triple feel, the Latin feel, the stutter, the subtle dynamic interests. So you could go through and take... Actually, what's interesting, the subtle dynamic interest is kind of what we set it up to with the rhythm on two, just getting, mm-hmm. when I was talking about getting right. that movement, so... So you could use that as the template for your presets if you wanted to. Um, yeah, so very cool. Um, I love it. Yeah. Like, we gotta, we gotta check out more from that press yeah. because this is like... It's a great color, too. I, I love that, that orange color. It's cool. Right, color. right. So I think with that... Mm-hmm. It's a deep dive. <laughs> yes. But our oxygen tank only has so much air in it. We better start to surface. <laughs> it's not going to be good. We like to always take this moment to just thank everybody that's been watching. Takes the time to hit the like button, uh, subscribe, hit the notification bell, leave comments, go to Facebook, Instagram, follow us there. Just anytime you communicate with us, it helps the channel. We really appreciate you taking the time to do that and watching. And uh, thanks for the, you know, thanks for doing that. And we think with that. Yeah, with that, I'm PJ on behalf of the Beard, reminding you: no matter what you hear, you never have too much gear. And we can't demo a tremolo pedal without some kind of drive. Drive. Mr. Barber? ending ever. <laughs>